Hello, 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 and welcome once again to Movies That Pop. I'm the Colonel. Let's see what popped up in theaters this week. Nazi punks, Nazi punks, Nazi punks. Now this is punk rock, baby. Woo! -hoo! Green Room pits a punk rock band against a murderous neo-Nazi gang in a roadhouse deep in the woods of the Pacific Northwest. This film is brutal, intense, and kind of unexpected in the way that it does so much with so little. The setup for this film is simple, but the plot itself is uh, rather complicated, and a lot of the particulars stayed just out of my reach the entire time, adding to the overall sense of chaos. Very suspenseful, violent, realistic chaos to be sure. The very epitome of a film festival midnight movie, Green Room arrives in theaters after screening at the Cannes and Toronto Film Festivals and rocking festival audiences faces off the whole time. Now it's your turn. This movie pulls no punches or kicks or gunshots or other bone snapping, teeth gnashing, blood spattering assaults but it does consistently surprise and entertain and allow you to spend an hour and a half in abject terror. Green Room is one hard rocking ride, people. That's it for the capsule review. Let's get in depth. I'm just gonna put this out there and get it out of the way. The band at the center of this film, the Ain't Rights, they are not smart people. They're, well, they're punks, really. I mean, they're just kids and the typical young musicians who would rather drive around in a van siphoning off gas and playing to seven people at a Mexican restaurant for beans and rice than do anything remotely close to selling out like making good quality recordings or even having a Facebook page. They're young, dumb, pretentious, naive, and reckless. So when they get a last minute gig to play at a roadhouse in the middle of the woods owned and frequented by dangerous neo-Nazi skinheads, of course they think it's funny to open their set with the dead Kennedy song, Nazi Punks. The crowd, however, uh, doesn't take it so well. Luckily, the Ain't Rights rock so hard that with subsequent songs, they're able to win over the crowd and the gig ends without any threat to life and limb. They collect their money and they get escorted out of the club and everyone's all gonna live happily ever after until, ah, oops, one band member forgot their phone in the green room. After dashing in there without warning to get it, everything goes pear-shaped all at once, all of a sudden, because the green room has become a crime scene and the band are now unwitting witnesses to a brutal murder. After a chaotic shuffling of events, the band becomes locked inside the green room with no phone, one gun with only five bullets, one skinhead inside the room with them, and a virtual army led by the menacing and very, very creepy Patrick Stewart amassing outside. So there it is, in a nutshell, a very simple setup. And there's more to the story, but I've got to tell you, I was left a little confused by a lot of the details. Thing is, I'm pretty sure they were all on screen at some point. Things like why the girl was murdered in the first place, what's the significance of a certain song title stuffed into someone's pocket, who's betraying who within the ranks of the bad guys and why, etc were shown and told a lot of details, and usually in scenes taking place when music is blaring loudly or with throwaway lines of dialogue with other people talking over it, and hey, I I'll admit, maybe it's a kernel problem, okay? Maybe it's not a writing problem, maybe it's a kernel problem, and that's fine. Maybe this movie would make way more sense if I watched it at home with the captions on. What I'm saying is the setting is simple. They're trapped in the room and they need to escape. All the other stuff is just context and depth. So if, like me, you didn't get it, you can still mine plenty of enjoyment from, hey, there's these kids who are dumb and naive and reckless and they're trapped by some pretty scary and evil dudes. Let's see them try to escape with their lives. And that's really all you need because the thriller elements here, the way the movie is able to mine so much suspense in such a small space, the sudden outbursts of shocking violence that have pretty devastating consequences, even the points where I didn't quite understand the character subtext that was being given to me, it all adds up to something greater than the sum of its parts. A thrilling feeling of chaos, 
pure, loud, seen up your pants, messy, one would say punk rock, chaos. And I loved it. Unlike the hyper-stylized violence of Hardcore Henry a few weeks ago, Green Room's onslaught of violence is rooted in relatable characters. And now, a movie doesn't need to have protagonists you respect, but it can still get you to root for them because you simply understand them. You get who they are. You really feel for these kids and never forget that they are kids. They're not superheroes. They're not martial arts masters or badass Navy SEALs. Heck, at one point, one of them gets into a battle against an armed skidhead army armed only with nothing but a fire extinguisher. That's all they got. It's David and Goliath, and it's thrilling stuff. Large bag of popcorn for Green Room, which gives you everything you need for a thrilling night at the movies and then some. By then some, I mean the context and subtext that is provided along the way to fill in the gaps. Hey, if you can make sense of it, you might enjoy the film even more than I did. But I enjoyed it quite a bit for what it was, a gritty, intense, claustrophobic thrill ride. That does it for this edition of Movies That Pop. Don't forget to follow me, the Colonel, on Twitter, at Movies That Pop. And click the icon right down there to visit our channel. You'll be able to view all of our other videos, and more importantly, while you're there, click subscribe so you can stay updated on all the latest releases, and so we can keep doing what we do. Be sure to leave your comments below and click the thumbs up if you like what you heard. In the meantime, thanks for watching. I'm the Colonel, and... Nazi Pops! 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 Nazi